Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I'm stood outside. This video today is gonna to be us clearing up the garden. We moved in in October, the end of October. So we didn't really get a summer here. We didn't even really get like much of an autumn. It was pretty miserable weather. So we didn't get a chance to really do a lot of the weeding, especially in the back garden. I think we managed to get a couple of days where we did the front because that was on show and it was in a bad state and our neighbors really desperately wanted us to do it. And so did we. So the front got a little bit of maintenance the back hasn't been touched in probably a year now. So we've got a lot of weeding to do. We've got grass to cut. We've got random bits and bobs that need to go in the bin, recycling, and then some things that need to be pruned and pushed back. Pushed back? Pruned and trimmed back. So as you can see, the top of the hedges actually look quite clean cut, but that's because we got those trimmed probably about two months ago now. We called someone out to do that before it turned to spring because the birds start nesting there etc so it was a good time to do that and we really did need those done professionally they were super super high you can go back and watch that video it was very satisfying but we did get all of that done professionally but what we thought we could do ourselves is a lot of the groundwork so that's what we're going to do today i have picked myself up a brown new <laughs> mom's going to be so annoyed a brand new mug that says grow with me no let's grow <laughs> this is from wilco and i picked this up the other day i thought it was too cute to leave behind so this is now my gardening mug you don't need a mug <laughs> for gardening i do this oh. is my gardening mug this is only one pound fifty so if anything ever happens to it it's not that big of a deal oh, i so, remember that so this <laughs> so this is my gardening mug and it's cute so i have to have it anyway gloves on leave some advice as we go through there might be things that we can do better but we're literally going to get stuck into it and try and clear out as much as we've got probably the next six hours of sun so we're just going to tidy up really that's it so let's go Cheers. you're the gardening mug standing behind the camera right now <laughs> yeah my other gardening mug <laughs> this gardening mug oh it's going to help me out today <laughs> Cheers. They're my gloves. Happy. Oh no, mine are over there. I only had one on before, they're like Michael Jackson. <laughs> We've got all of our tools laid out here. We've got rakes, forks, spades. This is a little seat for me to sit on as I weed, or you can kneel on it. Gloves, shears, rubble bags for rubbish. We've got our green um, garden waste bin, which the council collects, which is great. Strimmer lawn mower these are both fly mow and i love them that's the easy store and rob's gonna now mow all of this garden there's lots of brown leaves to be picked up so they will need to be somehow picked up raked up and dropped in the bin maybe we've got lots of ivy grown which needs to be killed as you can see underneath a lot of the trunks of the trees is sort of randomness that i just want to clear it all out so that we can start afresh we've got a couple of trees that need to be pruned trimmed back i'm probably going to start with this section it used to be gravel now a bit of a dumping ground a bit of a jungle um, and then this this part of the patio is actually definitely the worst so many weeds so hopefully by the end of today it will look much cleaner than this are you ready rob Let's go! Oh my god, come here! Can you saw that? Yeah. Is that all the mint? Yeah, look, we've got so much mint. Can you actually eat that? Oh, I mean, I'm probably not gonna, but... Yeah, you can actually... I've got the no smell because of COVID two years ago and I can even smell it. <laughs> well, I could smell that before, actually. Guys, I mean, got, I've just lifted up a bit of wood and it must have, like, unturfed some some of this mint, but we've got loads of mint growing down here. I don't even know if you can see it. Let me take it off properly. It looks a bit like... They look kind of a bit like nettles, to be honest. Yeah, they look like... They just look like weeds and nettles but it's these i'm sure this is mint yeah it is look god smell that yeah yeah go on smell that yeah right that's so strong that's proper strong jeez man oh, i wish we'd planted these because then we could <laughs> yeah i'm not eating any not at all no. in garden but <laughs> it does smell good it smells so good the lawnmower has run out of battery that's the thing with these they are great but once they run out of battery you can't use them anymore so rob's gone and put them on 
charge we've literally got you can probably see it this little strip left so we all get it done today it's no problem terrifying okay i've picked up a couple of my tools from the garage we've got a mini rake we've got two mini shovels a fork a weed clearer and some shears some trimmers basically and i'm now going to start up rooting all of these all the way up this pathway because that's definitely adding to the untidy look and we've got a bucket which actually was here when we moved in so i'm going to utilize this put all the weeds in there and they're going to get dumped into the green bin just a little update here is how the lawn is looking rob's done his little stripes so looks pretty good still a bit on the end to tidy up to do this i think i'm going to take a mini shovel and a fork i'm going to use the fork actually with my gloves on just so that i don't get any injuries to pull but where it seems to not pull out really easily like where the the roots obviously go so deep down because they've been grown a long time i'm going to just try and pick at it so that i can actually uproot the whole thing and it won't grow back now oh there we go that took a little bit of work look how long that that root is goes from here all the way down there but taking the root out will hopefully mean that there's less chance of it growing back some of them will be easier than others i'm just going to take my time because this isn't going to be a really quick process i want to do it properly so that i don't have to keep doing it hello newly cut grass look at him digging at his newly cut grass hey you enjoying that put stuff behind the thing so that we get a bit of leverage.
end of day one. I'm exhausted. I'm gonna go have a shower. It's now about half six. Is it half six? Yep. Half six. So we're gonna cut the night early. Normally, my mindset would be power through just as much as you can, but I just wanna rest a little bit. It is the bank holiday weekend. Weekend? It is the bank holiday weekend. So we're gonna rest up a little bit, make some food. But look, it looks really good already. We've cleaned up all of those weeds that were in that side um, bed in and then we clean up all of the weeds that were in between the patio slabs and I feel like that has made a major difference already however I did underestimate how long this would take so this is going to take probably a good few days to do but we're making really good progress so that's good hello I'm baking I'm going to my friend's house tonight to link up with a few of us that haven't seen each other in a while. It was her birthday a couple of weeks ago. She didn't plan anything, but I haven't seen her since. And she's a great person, so I want to do something special. So she loves coconut in chocolate, especially, but coconut is like her favorite, one of her favorite flavors. So I've been to the shops and I've bought some random coconutty bits. So really cute little bag, first of all, but I went a little bit overboard. I thought everything was gonna fit in here, but I bought her a Mogu Mogu coconut flavored drink. I got her some of the Raffaello coconut chocolate. They're like Ferrero Rocher's, but the coconut flavor. Then some of the Mrs. Crimble's big coconut macaroons. I know this is very unhealthy, but it's her birthday. It's a treat. Oh, these are gluten-free. Big jam coconut rings. How delicious do they look? This brand, I've never seen it before, but I should have picked them up for me and Rob because they look banging. And then I've seen this. So I've never seen this before, but they look banging. They are coconut wafers. Mm. So we're putting that together for her. And I've also taken it upon myself to bake her some pina colada cupcakes. Now, if you've been watching for a while, you might remember that Rob and I have done these cupcakes a couple of times during lockdown especially we bought the james patisserie cookbook we just loved cooking some little cakes out of here so i'm doing the pina colada cupcakes this is what they look like i've got my little setup here i've got some mixing bowls all of my ingredients and then we've got some really cute little um of the what are these called umbrellas cocktails cocktail umbrellas to pop on the top so that they look just like this so that's what I'm doing this afternoon. And in the meantime, I'm gonna hand the camera over to Rob and he is gonna start doing a little bit of the garden again whilst I bake, which is why we've got some good weather. Yesterday, oh my God, we're so tired. I got into bed at like half 10, I think. We started watching Beef on Netflix, which is really good. It is a little bit daft, but not in the way where you're like, oh, this is so unrealistic. It's kind of just funny daft. We're now on episode seven, so we've got a few left, but it is so, so good. But I was so tired. I had to go to bed at like half 10, had a shower, went to sleep, and then I realized I hadn't uploaded a vlog in ages. So I then finished editing. I didn't go to bed till two. Then I woke up at 7 a.m. Don't know what is wrong with me in my sleep pattern at the, at the moment, but I feel physically exhausted. And just with the manual labor that happened in the garden yesterday, like my lower back kills, my ham, hamstrings, the back of the, your thighs, so tight. Feels like I've been trying to learn gymnastics for six hours. But we've been up and about today. We've had some nice breakfast, so feeling much better. But yeah, he's gonna go and carry on with the garden just for a little bit whilst I do this. And then I'm gonna go out and join him and we can see how far we get. Cause tomorrow it's gonna rain again. Are we surprised? No. <laughs>
put them on the side with the presents so I remember to take them, fingers crossed. Um, Rob has been doing such a good job outside so I'm gonna go help him do that for a little bit. He's managed to uproot a couple of trees. He's now having a little sunbathe in the sun because it started to get a bit warmer so I just caught him laying down on the grass. He's just done a second run of the grass as well because yesterday he did it on the highest setting so that you don't damage the lawnmower or the grass. So you take the top off and you go down and then he's done a lower setting today. But it looks so much better already with the smallest bit of maintenance that we've done yesterday and today. We've just now got to do the other half of the garden, so future Sade here. So this is a good three weeks on. We started to weed out the garden. It looks so much better than it did, but Rob has since been trying to keep the grass perforated, doing the seeding, making sure that he's keeping on top of that and the grass is looking really healthy. Britain being Britain, the weather has been shocking. Like it is pretty much rain for the last three weeks. So yeah, we've not really had a chance to get really into the garden. We have another bank holiday this weekend again, but again, the weather's going to be awful. So I'm um, basically thinking in the next couple of weeks we'll go back out and finish that off um, but yeah really ecstatic with the progress. The garden you don't realise is actually quite a big space and especially with the amount of foliage and trees we've got all of it just grows upwards so it's not only just on the surface level that we need to clean things up but the upwards as well. That being said I hope that you enjoyed this video there will be a lot more Chris um, Christmas. <laughs> there will be a lot more garden content coming, hopefully with some nice weather. I've already filmed three videos for you, so you've got some good videos back to back. Some shopping, some auction for home and garden wear. Hopefully by the time you've watched all of that, I will have been able to get into the garden and carry on some more. You'll have to wait and watch the next few videos, but you'll see I've, I've bought quite a few plants and I've got some really great inspiration and I cannot wait to transform the garden. It's gonna be, a, it's gonna be quite a lot of work but it's hopefully going to pay off in the summertime so that we can actually enjoy the garden anyway hope that you enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you're not subscribed already see you in the next one guys lots of love bye Mwah.